हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज क्वेश्चन इज कैन मेल इनफर्टिलिटी बी क्योर्ड इज इट पॉसिबल टू क्योर मेल इनफर्टिलिटी आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट आई वी एफ आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट असिस्टेड रिप्रोडक्शन आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट सर्जरीज लाइक माइक्रोटिसा और यू नो एनी ऑफ दोज प्रोसेस इन विच वी हैव टू यू नो डू समथिंग एज एडिशनल फॉर यू टू हैव अ चाइल्ड बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सिंपल फैक्ट दैट इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूडे एज अ मैन आई हैव अ डिफेक्ट I am not able to produce sperms, or my sperms are unhealthy, or I have no sperms in my semen. My testes have become small. My hormone levels have become deranged. Is it a possibility, a real possibility, that modern science, that allopathy, or the advanced allopathic system of medicine, can give me an option to father my own child naturally? The word is natural. The word is me having sex with my wife, and we have a child like normal couples do. So yes, friends. Today I am Dr. Vijay Govinda Gupta. I am an andrologist and a men's health specialist, practicing in New Delhi, India. And let me assure you that modern science, modern scientific principles, are progressing at a rapid pace. And today we have many newer drugs, a lot of research going in, by which we can help men achieve a natural pregnancy, get back their sperms in the semen, increase their testicular size, and even correct their hormonal profile and have children. if properly investigated and if proper treatment is given i get calls from across the world from men who have been told by their physicians or their gynecologists or their andrologists that no there is no possibility you my friend will have to adopt a child or go for donor insemination let me tell you in clear frank words in 70% of these men 70% that's a big chunk in a, in 70% of these men a cause can be identified that cause may be many it may be a hormonal disturbance it may be post infective it may be due to tuberculosis it may be due to hormonal derangements it may be a genetic defect it may be due to as simple as something as a varicose causes can be identified and if those causes are identified and those causes are corrected and those causes are given proper treatment these men show natural sperms in their seminal ejaculate I have had cases with men with very high FSH levels, men who have had varicose seals that have never been diagnosed or corrected, varicose seal surgeries that have not been done properly, hormonal treatments that have never been tried. I have had men who have actually obstructive azoospermia, and those men have been advised donor sperms by doctors abroad or doctors even in India. And those men, when come, they are distraught. They are distraught because having a child, having your own blood, having a child naturally is. a man's greatest joy today as a father and as a doctor i understand the importance of a man to have his own you know natural progeny or natural pregnancy so when these men come we investigate them sometimes i am aghast to find that you know uh, a seminal examination itself has been done in a very poor way and what ends up is that a man who could have or can father his own child is stuck with a diagnosis of incurable male infertility and then you know they have already had one child with donor and then because they have seen my video or they have heard about the newer treatments they come over and they get treatment so i am dr vijay govinda gupta i am an andrologist in new delhi as i told you earlier and today we will discuss uh, three or four uh, different scenarios and how good results can be obtained in these men and how with proper treatment these men also can father their own children so the number one scenario that we see is high fsh elevated fsh so fsh is basically a hormone that the brain produces i am simplifying things just for understanding of my common patients fsh is an hormone that the brain produces this fsh goes to the testes and asks the testes to produce sperms if the testes are not functioning if the testes are not producing sperms they give a signal back and the brain keeps on increasing the fsh levels so a high fsh level basically indicates that the testes is not functioning well that the testes are not producing sperms in good quantity whenever a clinician sees a high fsh he will always recommend no you need to go for an ivf no you would need to go for a microtisa and when you do a microtisa in high fsh usually the result is poor the patients the sperms are not found or the sperms are not of good quality and an entire medical industry has been built on operating patients without results but let me tell you there are treatments there are medications that can be used to optimize fsh levels decrease fsh levels 
and his FSH levels are not going to be decreased. So it is not like we are decreasing the FSH. We are basically forcing the testes to produce better sperms. And when these testes produce better sperms, the FSH level automatically declines. And as the FSH level declines, it has many benefits. Some patients may end up with sperms in their semen. Some patients may end up with some sperms in their semen. Some patients may end up with sperms in their testes. There are patients who have failed TSA, who have failed IVF, who when these medications are given to, their FSH levels improve, testicular size improves, and they, on the next step, we can harvest better quality sperms from them. The medications are not a secret. These medications are not a secret. It is not as if there are certain uh, secret that only I know. These medications have been used and published in studies across the world. Medications like clomiphene, letrozole, anastrozole, amoxifen, HCG, HMG, recombinant FSH, testosterone injections. All of these when used in the right combination along with the right dosage and along with the right monitoring can give wonderful results in men who are suffering from elevated FSH and infertility. Scenario 2. Varicoceles. So varicocele is basically blood vessels or blood vessels that take blood away from the testes and these varicoceles when dilated can cause testicular damage and lead to infertility. Varicocele now even the European Association and even the American Association guidelines are slowly beginning to recognize the importance of varicoceles and their correction. Even though there is a very vast sub lobby of gynecologists who do not want varicoceles to be corrected. But now, there is more than enough data, more than enough published data to show that varicocele repairs massively improve a man's health. A varicocele repair will not only improve the man's sexual health, it will increase the testicular size, improve the sperm motility and morphology, help in better retrieval of sperms in failed TSA and IVF patients. So, a careful examination and a carefully done ultrasound is an essential part of a man's diagnosis because if a varicocele is detected, its correction can give wonderful results to men. Third, there are men with obstruction. So there are men who come to my clinic who do not have a vas, who have epididymal obstructions or who have a vase and the vasal obstruction is there or there are prostatic cysts or there is tuberculosis or there is trauma or there is hernia surgery or there is a vasectomy or there has been a hydrocele surgery and these simple facts are usually missed. Many of the times during these surgeries or these procedures or during infections, these is damage to the natural pathway through which the sperm flows. And if this damage is too much, then these areas may cause blockages. These blockages may be micro blockages or may be macro blockages. And this may lead to azospermia or no sperm. And these blockages can be corrected. Even though medicines are not very effective, surgical correction of these blockages is usually successful. Even though success rate is not 100%, it's only 50%. And the results take time, maybe six months to a year but treatment exists. Let me tell you, it is not like if 50 what percentage of success does IVF allow? 20%, 25%. In place of that, you have a natural chance of fathering a biological child with a 50% success rate and having as many children as possible. I think if you are young, you are, you are a fresh new couple, you have only five years of marriage in your wife and you are still fertile, testes are working well. I think an option of surgical reconstruction or a surgical repair of an obstruction which can give wonderful results is mandated. So today I discussed with you three scenarios, three scenarios in which by which even if you have azospermia, even if you have poor quality sperm, even if you have failed IVF, a proper diagnosis is made, a proper treatment is given, you may be able to father your own children. I have a lot of videos on vasectomies, varicoceles, vasectomy reversals, VEA and even technical fine points of treatment of male infertility. Problem is, I am in a Hindi speaking country and most of my videos are in regional languages that my broad English speaking audience cannot understand. I have taken this initiative to now translate all my Hindi videos into English so I can reach a broader audience and I can offer hope to men who are suffering from male infertility. If this video interests you and you feel that male infertility is something that you want to get treated, you can connect with me and my team on WhatsApp, on email, on Facebook, or on any other media that is coming up. You can find contact details in this video, as well as you can connect and find more information on my website, drvijayangovinda.com. I also have a Hindi channel called Dr. Vijayan Govinda. If you are a Hindi speaking gentleman, you can connect to that and you can find a wealth of information on male infertility. 
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टेक केयर